Hi guys, today I'll show you different ways to prepare coconut meat after you've cracked open a fresh coconut. If you want to see how to open a coconut, watch my last video. I'll put a link below. My family comes from the state of Kerala, which literally means the land of coconuts. It's a beautiful place and if you get a chance to visit, please do so. Since there are coconut trees everywhere, Coconut meat can be found in many sweet and savory dishes. After you've cracked a coconut, you'll have some that have come out of the shell and some with the shell intact. You can remove the shell easily, which I've shown in the last video. Peel the coconut and cut it up in chunks to process in a food processor, which I'll show you in a minute. Now, if you want to slice coconut into small pieces for payasam, uniyapam, or any kind of dessert, it's best to use a knife because you get even results. Plus, there's only a small amount of coconut needed in most recipes. Cut the coconut into thick strips and slice as thick or as thin you need in the recipe. I'll show you the tool my family's always used to scrape coconut and it's this handheld coconut scraper. You can find this at most Indian grocery stores or online. I'll put a link in the description below to several coconut scrapers. Generally, I would always put the coconut on a cloth, put it over a plate. The plate would be on my lap and I'd be in front of the TV because doing the whole coconut takes about 10 minutes. Little more or less, depending on how many coconuts you've scraped. You can go around the sides like this and keep scraping until you get to the shell, almost to the shell. Don't scrape up any of the brown parts. This is half of the coconut that was peeled and cut into chunks. The flesh isn't very hard, it's easy to cut. To grate coconut in the food processor, put the peeled cut up coconut chunks in with the regular blade in the food processor. I'm using my 14 cup Cuisinart. I have done a full review of this. If you want to see it, you can click on the link below. Put the lid on, pulse. you've got finely chopped coconut. Take this and blend it if you're going to make coconut chutney. The blender is your best option to grind the coconut smoothly. You're never going to get the uh, smooth grind with a food processor. Finely mince coconut in the food processor. It's very evenly done. If you have a food processor with a shredding disc, you can use that to grate coconut. Cut the coconut to fit inside the chute of your food processor. Put the disc in. You don't need the regular chopping blade inside the bowl. Put the coconut in the chute. So most of the coconut was processed. Just a few pieces that weren't. And here is our lovely grated coconut. They're all nice and even. This is a really fast way to grind coconut. Keep holding the pulse button down and whatever pieces are left on top of the disc will be processed. So you have the grated coconut using the disc in the food processor and the finely chopped coconut using the blade in the bowl of the food processor. Using the handheld coconut scraper gives you a finely grated coconut. The food processor blade gives you this thick grated coconut. And if you don't want to do any of this, buy some shredded frozen coconut. I buy this one sometimes at the Indian grocery store and it's perfect. It's sweet. I don't think there's anything added to it. It's just coconut and it saves you a lot of time. Right out of the bag, you can see that it's not in big clumps. It's not a block of ice like some brands. It's sweet, it's perfectly shredded and ready to use. Saves you a lot of time and effort. And I have made coconut chutney with this frozen shredded coconut. It's turned out perfect. You can barely taste the difference between the fresh and the frozen. Sometimes the frozen is even better than the fresh because if you buy one coconut at the store, come home, break it, it might be bad inside. If I'm gonna shred fresh coconut, I always buy two coconuts, just to be on the safe side. I'll put my family's simple coconut chutney recipe soon, so subscribe to stay tuned for that. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.